Hey y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Let me stop. I'm <laughs> being a silly nut. Okay, I'm nervous. That's why I'm acting the way I'm acting. I don't know what I did with my gloves at all. And I need them. And if I drop this thing, I'm going to plant one more time. What did I do with it? Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Howdy. <laughs> One tomato that I did on my live, and this is the same day, I'm just trying to get it done. And, oh no. This thing I think you can do for your plants is to not plant them before you need to because it's so hard getting the trellis in there and all that other stuff i'm gonna go ahead and mix in some blood meal bone meal Notice my head is not over this bag at all. And some special ingredients. And then some um, tomato fertilizer. I'm gonna mix that up in the hole. gonna make the hole too deep because I want her to sit up a little bit I'm gonna leave the um, this one come out pop the little leaves off at the bottom pray I don't break her because I've, I've already distressed them enough just with this move Let's see how she's sitting yeah, I'm going to want to bring her up some. So, hold on. We want her to sit up right there. And then I'm just going to get some soil from out of here to keep from having to get up. And I'll just refill it. I'm so rough with my starts. And this is one I grew. And I'm still rough with her. She's gonna be tired of me. I'm gonna take that one off. And that one. So that I can get some more soil in here. That's what happens. You start way before you should. You can, but whew, this is back breaking work. You hear me? I'm going to take them in the house and put them back under the grow light just so that I can perk them back up. And I'm going to leave them in the house for probably, I have some little things, sauces I can sit them in so they won't wet up my floor. Hopefully, if not, I'll put a towel down. 
but they're not gonna stay outside overnight because I need to perk them back up. And so to the top of this, we're gonna add give them a little extra feeding just because I'm stressing them okay I didn't give them a lot the first time that's bone meal more bone meal and more uh, blood meal now I gotta get that other trellis over her and I'm gonna use the big one because my other tomatoes are smaller, so they should be okay. Now how I had to do that one was bend it outward just to get it in over and not break any of the branches that I wanna keep, which are all of them. And once again, this hat is in my way. So we're gonna take her off. You see how she's drooping? She should come back to life once I get her back in the house under the ring light. And then I'll gradually over the next, I'll leave them in the house for the rest of this week. The next week I will start hardening them off again and they'll be outside if they make it. For now, I may have to end up putting a bamboo stick in here. I don't know yet. Let's see. Just need something for her to lean on. So she's good for now. The other ones should be easier because they're smaller. in the hole even though I put I mixed it throughout the soil directly in the hole though directly in the hole we'll put a little bit of worm castings just because I feel like Tomatoes need so much more. A little bit of blood meal. And a little bit of bone. Mix it up in a circle. So it's not directly on the roots, but it's in the hole. falling apart. I'll take off the smaller stems. I hope I didn't break her because I look like I did. I broke her. She broke when she came out, y'all. So I'm not going to cut that out. She broke when I took her out because her root is fine, but she broke right there. And that happens, that happens. So it is what it is. We move on to the next one. We're gonna do the black cherry hybrid. This is the size you want them to be when you're transplanting. 
and you want them to look healthy she although she was growing she didn't really look as healthy as these look even though they're traumatized from the move you see how well that came out i'll be saving that her down a little bit of this soil castings on the top and some of this special potting soil mix right here that has kelp and all of that stuff in it. And she is done. Just got to water her in and put the trellis over her. hold together not a big one just a little one so this is my lemon boy wait let me put this in here so I don't forget what I planted black cherry put the lemon boy down with one hand but that's what I'm having to do oh wrong one let me move this that's the blood mill let me put this up here it's the earth bump castings I try to be generous with the earth bump castings Done. This one here is a lunchbox orange sweet snacking pepper because I love snacking on peppers. And this is the same. So I got two of the same. These snacking peppers. bug bug alert
gonna do the candy cane. Oh, let's put that in there. Oh, I forgot I got to do this. We'll go ahead and do the candy cane since I just said that. See, this had a lot of peat moss in it, so I'm glad that I added peat moss to my soil. I didn't break them up, I just kept them together just like they were and just planted them. I don't want to mess with the roots. This one right here, it was drooping a lot. It's starting to perk back up now. So I'm hoping that this one does the same because they've done that before. Um, when I first transplanted them, they did that. So hopefully they'll get it together.